All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new Android Studio tutorial. Today, we're going to add a library project. So what we're going to do is essentially all I've done here is I've cloned or in our test project. I've cloned the library project into the root. We're now going to place it inside the project correctly. So under the uh, file, the folder for our module, so our projects under test in here, we're going to create a new folder called libraries. And inside that we're going to place volley so we've done that now volley has now been placed we're going to delete this other one don't need that anymore so under test libraries volley has now been added okay so let's synchronize our gradle files to make sure everything's working okay so our settings are created has got a bit muddled up in the background this shouldn't happen ever to you but for some reason it has to me don't ask me how but I'm just gonna quickly re-add my main module sync see what happens should work okay there we go sorry I'd mixed up something if you look in the old videos that's supposed to be there that line so what we're going to do now is we're going to configure Gradle to tell it to compile this as a library. So how do we do that? Well, in our top level settings.gradle, we have to tell it to compile here. So if we duplicate this line, so this is inside the test folder, inside the libraries folder, volley. So we're going to say test libraries and the path has to be correct. Okay. So that's that added. So it's now been added as an actual thing. So now we're going to go to our build.gradle for our test module and we're going to add, we're going to say compile. We're going to compile the project. Compile project and it's under libraries. So libraries slash volley. Now that's not actually correct you have to use the semicolon again so that will tell it to go to the libraries folder go to volley and compile this so if we click our sync we should get our build working okay so completed yes gradle has successfully added volley to our project so let's create a request queue. Request queue. Queue equals volley. New request queue. This. And if we run this, the emulator, it should run perfectly fine. And that's very simply how to add a library project uh, to it. So I'll explain what actually happened there. So essentially what we did was, okay, it's actually running now on the device, or it should be running. Ah, here we go, it's coming up now. And away she goes, perfect. So I'll explain what's happening here. The settings.gradle is telling it to compile a new module, which is actually a, a sub-module of test. So inside the test folder, we have our sub-module, volley, which is inside the libraries folder. So these, this is a module. This, this is a sub, a sub module of a sub module of a module. It's a bit mental, but it works. So it's been added there. I'm fairly sure you could delete this libraries folder and put volley directly in here, but you'd have a big pile of folders. So keeping it tidy is neat, or as neat as we can. And then we tell that our test module requires it to compile the project under libraries volley. And it's essentially what we're doing. We're telling it to compile these resources as well as this this remote one and that's all we we're doing ba bam so as you can see here it's actually compiled volley under build exploded bundles into a test project and it's actually compiled it all in here for us so it's created an aar file for it and that's it that's importing a library project it's super easy when you know how there's no need to be afraid of this but that's essentially how this works now we've got our libraries and it's all working perfectly fine and I suppose that's it for importing library projects um, 
uh, next or my next set of tutorials will probably be done in Android Studio because it's amazing. But anyway, guys, as always, it's been good talk, and I'll see you out there.